All right, so what would happen if you did Anki for 576 days in a row? I'm here to tell you why you should do Anki every single day and continue doing cards even long after that exam is over. I have been doing Anki since 2014. I've been on a 576 day streak. I think because of Anki, I was able to graduate at the top of my medical school class. And even now, even as a busy resident doctor, I'm continuing to do Anki just because of how strongly I believe in the power of its long-term retention when you do it consistently every single day. So let me tell you some of the things that I learned after using Anki for over 576 days in a row. The first thing that I wanna mention is that you can achieve maximal results with minimal studying. I am constantly surrounded by some of the most intelligent people I know, a lot of them who graduated at the top of their class, top of their university, just super smart people. But at the same time, I do feel like even though I'm not as intelligent as a lot of people, I actually have a huge edge over them because I use Anki every single day. And it's helped me achieve some really great scores on important exams like the step one board exam, which is one of the most important exams we take as medical students. I scored in the 90th percentile on that. Step three, I scored in the 95th percentile. Most recently on the residency in training exam, I scored in the 95th percentile. And I did that with basically no studying at all other than my daily practice of using Anki. And I really feel like if you use Anki yourself, you can achieve similar really great results even though you're not spending as much time studying and you're not doing as much cramming, as long as you do something consistently, you really find that there's nothing like doing something every single day. You know, I wish I could apply this to other aspects of my life, like doing going to the gym every single day or making sure I get eight, eight hours of sleep every single day. But the one thing that I have been really consistent at is doing Anki every day and it's made a huge difference. It's been a huge game changer for me and I think it can be a huge game changer for you as well. The second point that I wanna mention is that you can spend less time relearning old material. Think about all the times that you've had to relearn old material before getting started on the new stuff. So for example, we learn about the Krebs cycle in high school, and then we learn it again in college, and then finally for a third time in medical school. And every single time it was like relearning it like from you know, from scratch. And it was just not, it's not a very pleasant experience. Now, when I'm starting to learn something new, I save probably 80% of the time that I would have had to spend relearning that old material and then I can just get straight into focusing on the new stuff because I've continued to keep up with my foundational knowledge by using Anki every single day. So in my opinion, using Anki every single day is really gonna save you a ton of time in the long run because you're not gonna have to spend all that time relearning old stuff, which is something that we have to do all the time. And your foundation, you're gonna prevent it from eroding as much as possible uh, and it's really gonna make a huge difference once you're learning something new. The third thing that I wanna mention is that Anki basically becomes like a second brain. And what I mean by this is so many times I've been in the hospital and I've felt like I needed to look something up or I was like, man, I remember I, I had an Anki card about this. Like, let me look it up real quick. And then I'll open up the app on my phone and then search for what I'm looking for. And immediately the entire collection of my Anki deck, which is over 15,000 cards, is completely at my disposal and instantly I can just grab a card out of thin air. So it's basically like a second brain because it's a repository of all the information that you've learned before in the past. Your brain can only store so much information. It's designed to forget things, to make space for things that are more important or more recent that you need to remember. But Anki has no limit in terms of how much data you can store in there. And so when you have tons of cards in there, you have a library of information that you can access at any time, which is super convenient. And the best part about it is it's so much better than you know going on Google and trying to look for the answer to your question because the cards that you make and put into Anki are already pre-processed by you. You've already had to go through the process of making the card and synthesizing the information yourself. And so when you pull it up, it is gonna tell you exactly the stuff that you need to know or the exact conceptual ideas that your brain needs to remember in order to uh, get the concept that you're looking for. Whereas if you're going on Google, you basically have to search to find a good resource. You're not sure if that resource is gonna have the information that you want. When you go on Anki instead, you already know what you're looking for. You know you have a card on this subject and it's just such an incredible thing to be able to look things up quickly like that. The other aspect of Anki and your deck becoming basically like a second brain is that that you are really gonna surprise yourself by the things you remember. Because so many times questions come up and I somehow just get this feeling that I know the answer already and then I'll just 
you know, put the answer down on a test or I'll just like shout out the answer uh, if it's in some scenario that somebody's asking me this question. And I don't even remember how I remember that. And then I go back and I realize, oh yeah, I had this Anki card that I made a while ago. I've already done it so many times. It's basically ingrained in my brain, um, just like in some deep recess that I can't access on my own, but it, the information just comes out when it's called upon. And that's just such a great feeling because honestly, it's very surprising how many times I can recall some information that I honestly didn't remember that I knew. Finally, the fourth piece of something I learned after doing Anki for such a long time and uh, for such a consistent period of time is that uh, it kind of changes how your brain works. Um, everything becomes sort of this discrete piece of information. Like each data point is a singular thing that you can capture and write down and then eventually convert into an Anki card later. And I think this has actually been such a, a nice thing to be able to do because you know, when you're making a good Anki card, you have to accomplish several things. You have to pre-process the information, which I mentioned earlier, um, and then you have to make a card that just hits on one detail and make a good card that th there's only one possible answer. And it takes a lot of steps for your brain to be able to do something like that. And it really changes the way that you think and approach problems. And what's really great about it is it allows you to cut down these very complex topics into each like discrete pieces of information that you can turn into a flashcard. And just that process of being able to think like that uh, really changes the way that you learn topics and makes things so much more digestible. And I really feel like enhances your learning overall. When I'm going through the hospital, I always learn new things and there's these little tidbits of information that I learn day to day. And every single time I'll write it down and I'll write it down in a way that's just like a discrete data point that I can store in my brain or I guess my second brain if you're you know, talking about your Anki deck um, for later use. And it's just a really, it's a new way of thinking and engaging your brain and just it, it changes the way your brain looks at things. So for all the advantages of using Anki long term, are there any downsides to Anki? And uh, I will say there are some downsides, but no, it's not, you know, the time or the effort that you spend into it, because I think that's probably what most people are thinking. Oh, you're spending so much time on Anki, like, isn't that a waste of time? Or, you know, you're just investing so much. It's really not, because as I mentioned before, uh, it really is saving time in the long run, because you're not having to relearn new information. You're not gonna having to study as much. So even though you're putting in 10 minutes a day on average, which is currently what I do, you really are saving time and effort in the long run. Instead, the only downside that I have really found with doing Anki all the time is uh, it's given me this sort of like distrust of my own brain where I don't have confidence in my own brain to remember things. And I'll be like, dang, if this is an important piece of information, I better write this down somewhere. I better put it into an Anki card. Otherwise, there's no way I'm gonna remember this in the future. And this is something that I used to pride myself on, you know, back when I was in early college or high school, I was like, dang, I'm like really good at remembering things. Like even without writing it down, I was pretty proud of that ability. Uh, but now I feel like I've become somewhat reliant on Anki in a sense, uh, but I would make this trade every single day of the week. It's sort of weird to have that sense where you don't feel like you can trust your brain to remember things as well as you used to, but uh, that's just the nature of how our brains work. You know, we're designed to forget things that we don't utilize, and we're designed to make room for more recent things. And so when you're trying to retain long-term information, we have to rely on something like Anki, which really like augments our brain's ability to be, to be honest. And it's so much superior to our own brain that that's why you start to get that feeling that, oh, my own brain is just like not as good as Anki. Um, so I guess that's the only downside. Like basically you feel like your, your own brain is like just so much inferior to, to Anki and having this system and this consistency that really provides results over time. So I hope in this video, um, I really hope that I was able to convince you uh, on the benefits of doing Anki every single day with consistency, even after you've taken that test and even after you've finished that big exam, you know, continue to do those cards. I still do to my step one cards and my step two cards and everything to this day. And it's really made a huge difference. You know, some of that information is not that high yield anymore, but the intervals are like five years. So I see it so rarely that it doesn't take any time at all. So the benefits of using Anki every single day are gigantic. I really think it can make a huge difference in your life. 576 day streak, I'm intending to continue that streak as I move forward. And I encourage you to try getting the biggest streaks that you can as well. And just really establishing that pattern and habit of doing daily Anki. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. 
And if you've been doing Anki for a long time, let me know what your thoughts and experiences are, and I'd be really curious to hear how you guys have been doing with your practice of Anki as well. Consider subscribing if you like this content and would like to see more, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.